Movement Center. This is a practice. Uh, can't f I've been looking all over. Can't find these exercises, um, so I just decided to create one. Uh, I love these for posture, for shoulder issues, depending on what's going on with you. Um, maybe rotator cuff, depending on your level of uh, injury, um, and even elbow issues. I've been treating uh, myself and a lot of kite surfers for. Um, elbow, either inner or elbow, outer elbow issues. So doing some upper body strengthening can help you. Now I've got three pound weights or five pound weights, depending on your level. I'm gonna just show these with the five pound weights. So four exercises. They can be done either on an exercise ball or in standing, I'll demo both. You're gonna start with feet a little bit wider or about hip width. And again, your hips and your landmark are those bones in the front, not the fleshy stuff on the outside. All right, so first one, a Y. So thumbs are sort of in the up position, palms are facing each other, you're gonna to come to a Y position. If you're dealing with elbow stuff, you should not feel any pain there. Everything is activated from your shoulder blades. <clears throat> so we come to a Y shape. Good, so maybe you inhale up, exhale down, or vice versa, whatever gives you the most power here where you don't feel any strain on your arms, your shoulders. Okay, so we've got the Y, and then the next, the T. So same positioning, palms are now facing forward. You're gonna come out T-shape. Okay, so that's your T. And it's looking from the side, like so, again, shouldn't have any pain, just the movement and you know discomfort of normal muscles working. All right, so you got your Y, your T, let's go to the I. Same position, squeeze those shoulder blades together and then back to center. So maybe an inhale away, exhale down from the back, inhale away, exhale down. Okay, so you got your Y's, T's, I's, last one, W. So palms are <clears throat> kind of facing inward towards each other, and then you're gonna open up like you're creating a W shape. Watch out for neck tension, you shouldn't be thrusting the head forward, it stays in line. So inhale up, exhale down. So these are all bent over in a little bit of a squat position, your back is flat. Okay, those are them. The alternative is to do it on a ball where you're laying over it. This ball's a little bit small for me, but if you want more trunk control, you have the knees off the ground. If you want to use a little bit of trunk control, but not as much, have your knees planted. Okay, and then you do the same. So we have your Y, the T, the I, and the W. All right, that's them. I'll catch you next time.